So hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to Sumo Rock Luna. And for today's video, we will mm, review this awesome action figure. Do you guess it right, guys? It's the Steel 2.0 from Toys Era, a 1-6 scale collection action figure, guys. Look at that and this is a premium edition just to say to you guys um, how can I say this um, this toys era the market value already if ever you came across this particular item is most likely the lower price is at around 26,000 pesos uh, ranging up to 35,000 pesos so um, it's a sort uh, a hot item if especially if you are an X-Men collector and if you've been watching um, Deadpool 2 before uh, this was one of the um, action figures created based on that particular movie right so this is the box guys so the steel 2.0 from toys era this is colossus and the box condition of this one i would say it is still in good condition to be honest it's pristine condition uh it's around <clears throat> excuse me um the rating for this is, is around for me it's still 9.10 sorry 9 over 10 for the box okay with minimal you know creases due to old age as you can see here very decent and awesome design especially at the back if you see this one there you go you will see a premium edition um, logo here PE under the Toys Era Limited uh, for this um, action figure okay so let me just uh, check basically this was created um, just year 2020 all right so pretty good condition I, I would say and in the bottom of the box is just the name hold on guys just the name premium edition the steel 2.0 which is the colossus type so let's unbox it and let's see what's inside the box All right so here you go guys gently I could just put this one on top okay let me just remove the cover. Whoa! Damn, it's so awesome, guys. Looking at it. Hold on, guys. All right. Be just careful so that you can see. okay can you see it guys so it's very tall so that's why you cannot see it clearly but what um, accessories or what is it, what it is included inside the box is the actual action figure and as well but this is the base already all right for Colossus Let me just remove the foam so that you can better see it hold on guys look at that guys whoa pretty awesome the actual action figure one six scale so let me just remove it from the box guys hold on a second 
it's not that heavy but as much as possible when you have this kind of action figure you might um, need to you know put it in a regular room temperature uh, uh, um, there should be a temp a room temperature that is required so that you will not have any issues about flaking for this particular action figure okay just to remind you let me just steady it a little bit look at that guys Whoa. let me just um hold on guys let me just pull a little bit for my camera can you see that pretty awesome guys whoa but let me just um hold on about that so that you can fully appreciate this awesome action figure guys can you see it so it comes with a alternate head before we go to the whole review of this action figure so the alternate head for colossus there you go guys can you see that pretty awesome it's hard plastic if I could say here and this is the alternate head a close mouth action fig um, close mouth alternate head all right pretty awesome head sculpt from the eyebrows and the mouth and the lining especially on the lining the forehead which is very um, iconic for Colossus there you go and even for the color or I mean for the buzz off haircut of Colossus look at that pretty awesome okay let me just put this one aside moving on with the action figure so for this awesome action figure one six scale from toys era as you can see pretty awesome let's start with the head sculpt okay so for the head as you can see pretty awesome same as the alternate head but the different thing is this one is an open mouth so you can see here very angry very detailed the frowning face or the anger face of Colossus okay next going on the deck details if, if you will see the body pretty much lining everything is a Colossus type um, silver steel if I'm not mistaken for this one you have silver skin metallic silver skin color all right then the body is a special design extra strong muscular body um, 37 centimeters tall for the one six scale all right and just to inform you we noticed that this one I noticed that this is a soft plastic rather than hard plastic for this then next uh, the good thing is the cloth for Colossus the inner shirt or inner sandal okay undershirt for Colossus is um, how do I call this one? Uh, I forgot the, the the quality 
of this kind of um, undershirt, but it's like rubberized t-shirt or sando or undershirt. And I noticed that it has a padding inside, okay, for full protection of the abdomen. Pretty thin, I would say. Then the jacket itself with the X logo, you will notice if you will zip this one both. All right. And it's really hard to zip, to be honest. It will form the X um, design, which is from the Deadpool 2 movie version. Okay. See that? Pretty awesome. And this one is like a double padded um, design. Okay. A vin, um, how do you call it? Leather, then. Or a rubberized part of cloth in this one for the jacket. Then moving on in the lower part of the for for the articulation, just to give you information, it's not that fully articulated with 25 possible articulation guys. So most likely it has At around like um, five to ten basic um, possible articulation, all right. Pretty awesome. Very tight joints, left and right. Double jointed elbow there, and there's an elbow, or they got a swivel or bicep swivel. I mean, so you can turn left and right or inner and outer. Okay. Then same thing, ball jointed joints for the forearm here, and it is rotatable to 360 degrees. Pretty awesome. For the legs, um, it's double jointed for the knees. No, there is a um, hip swivel. As you can see here, you can turn it left and right. Okay. Both legs, left and right, you can turn it with the hip swivel. And there is a um, ankle swivel as well. As you can see here, inner and outer only movement. Next is the cloth for Colossus. For the cloth of Colossus, this is a um, combination of leather, as you can see here, <coughs> there, and um, semi spandex jug, um, jugger pants with knee pad. You can see, and this is not detachable, guys, for the knee pad. It is embroidered or uh, already connected with the pants, especially with the shin guard here. Okay, pretty awesome details with the black safety boots, if, we w if I could say here. And the awesome part is the belt. It's pure steel for the X-Men logo. We just pull it up front further. Oops, sorry. And there is a no hip swivel or ab um, there's a minimal ab crunch, all right, as you can see there. Only minimal. Okay. This one, guys, it um, it's not possible to be removed for the pants because upon checking here it is glued for the belt it's not a strap on belt all right so this is my first time guys to review a 1-6 scale for the very first time for an action figure and it is beyond my comprehension as of now i'm very happy that i can review this awesome action figure guys 
Look at that Colossus So overall guys Even this is um, Created year 2020 It's been like uh, Almost 4 years already It's still an awesome Action figure There you go Look at the side design For me this bad boy is still a 10 out of 10 back inside the box for this action figure guys pretty awesome so if you are a how could i say this if you are an x-men or you your holy grail is more on you know more on colossus and juggernaut damn you must have this awesome action figure look at the pants guys look at that black gray combination with leather and spandex especially on the the jacket part see that awesome details guys pretty awesome especially on the boots look at that the x logo same as the uh, on the Deadpool movie for this one. So that's why it is steel because uh, if you will remember in the movie, they they call him steel for um, Colossus and Juggernaut has its oh sorry code name as well on the Deadpool two movie. Okay, just stand him properly, guys, so that it will not have any issue with the balancing. So there you have it, folks. The one six scale, the steel from Toys Era, Colossus from the action movie Deadpool 2. Alright, so, oh, I almost forgot, guys, that his pants is a uh, Velcro as well here. I just noticed earlier and it has for the shoulders it is a ball jointed as well all right pretty awesome guys look at that scary as it, it, as it is this is an awesome action figure most sort um you know most uh one of the holy grails that you must have i mean Oh, guys, pretty awesome. So there you have it. Hope you enjoy this review for our The Steel 2.0 from Toys Era, the 1-6 scale Colossus action figure. So again, guys, if you will have this kind of 1-6 scale so that um, the clothes will not flake, you must have... Uh, a balanced room temperature not that hot and that not that cold all right so I haven't researched what particular room temperature for this kind of action figure but let's see let's check So that, you know, um, you have uh, the normal temperature so that you'll be aware so that you will not have any issues of flaking or discoloration for your action figure. But again, due to the, um, in the long process that you have it, uh, it is undeniable or um, inevitable 
that it's still gonna have some flakings and creases for the color uh, for the action figure. So, upon checking, guys, at least at around 63 to 65 degrees, ideally, uh, to keep this particular um, action figure in the room, in your room or your uh, glass cab, all right? So that it will not damage your action figure. And it, you know, you can preserve it in a very, very long time, okay? So there you have it, folks. Again, this is the Toys Era, the Steel 1-6 scale collectible action figure. Colossus from the Deadpool 2 movie. And again, this is Sumo Rock Luna. Hope you enjoy this awesome review of the Toys Era, the Steel. Okay, so guys, enjoy, stay safe, and happy collecting, guys, all right? Thank you so much for watching, and please do follow my page, Sumo Rock Luna, at Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Thank you. Have a nice day, guys. Peace out. Bye.